Hi, I'm Josh Filstra, a uh, product specialist with Native Instruments. Uh, and I'm here showing some of the new instruments uh, that we've just released. Actually, uh, as of October 13th, uh, we released four new instruments and one new piece of hardware. Uh, I've got loaded up here right now Battery 3. This is one of our new instruments. Uh, this is an update on our existing Battery 2 plugin. There's a lot of cool new features hanging out in this thing. Um, one of the first is actually uh, 8 gigabytes of new session material. Uh, we've got a lot uh, of additional kits inside here. Um, far more diversified, I guess I would say, than the other, than the previous version. Uh, we've got a lot more ethnic type stuff, um, as well as we focus specifically on some uh, electronic analog classic drum machines inside here, um, as well as some things that kind of defy categorization, um, like the Berlin Headquarters kit, which is a series a uh, number of samples from our Berlin Headquarters. Uh, all the people in the office kind of hanging out and banging on stuff. So <laughs> some interesting stuff like there, like that inside here. I've got actually the full jazz kit loaded. Um, and you can actually take a look uh, at the amount of work that's gone into this. If I look at just the snare drum, these are all individual velocity layers here. Uh, it looks like upwards of 20 uh, contained within one snare drum. So. A lot of detail has gone into this library. Uh, something else that's new uh, inside this version is actually a, kind of a redesigned streamlined interface. You can see as I'm clicking along the bottom here, uh, we've made it look a lot cleaner, a lot simpler, uh, more friendly to use. Uh, an example is the browser. There's actually an integrated browser right inside Battery now um, so that if I'm looking for a specific sound, I can actually just drag and drop it uh, right into the cell and start building kits this way by navigating to folders on my hard drive and just dropping the sounds right in uh, makes it pretty easy. Uh, there's also something called in-kit preview down here uh, where if I have a sequence going, let's say I want to change just the snare drum. I can actually select the snare drum uh, up in the matrix up here and then just start clicking on different files while the sequence is playing and I can be hearing a change to just the snare drum. So I can leave the rest of the kit the same and just start auditioning a ton of snare drums to get the one I'm looking for, which is a pretty helpful little feature. Uh, in fact, as far as finding sounds, uh, we have a massive cell library now inside here where I can actually take cells from other kits uh, inside Battery. Uh, and I can do it by category. I can say I'm looking for a snare drum, uh, acoustic, analog, digital, so on and so forth, and actually bring a cell that is a complete package of a multi-sampled uh, sound complete with all the DSP uh, effects, envelopes, so on and so forth, and drop it right in. So that's a pretty cool new feature. Uh, something else that's new that I'm actually pretty excited about, I'm going to go ahead and load another kit uh, to demonstrate this, uh, is greatly augmented effects. Uh, I had in previous versions uh, some, some cool effects were in here, like lo fi and saturator, uh, but now I have things like delay and reverb. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a uh, delay on my snare drum. Go ahead and turn up the delay send amount. Uh, turn the delay on. There's my delay, but I also have uh, reverbs. I actually have a software reverb inside, but I also have convolution. I'm just going to go ahead and crank my reverb send up. Uh, I've got convolution, full featured convolution reverb in here. I'm going to go ahead and drop uh, an arena. Of course, I can control the parameters for that. But something that's really cool is you can actually convolve uh, any of Battery's existing sounds and use those as the impulse response. So I'm going to take this metal hit, and I'm just going to drop that into the convolution window here. And now my snare drum is actually literally being played through that metal sound that I just dropped inside there. And that's a pretty cool new feature. Another cool new feature uh, inside Battery is the ability to do different drum articulations. Uh, I've got a snare drum sound right here, uh, and often when you're playing a part in uh, using a drum machine like Battery, sometimes it's not as human as you would like it, or sometimes it's just difficult to get things like a roll uh, to sound good. So what we've done here is given you some different articulations that can be applied to individual cells. Here's a snare drum. I'm actually going to stick a three-stroke rough on that snare drum. 
can hear that sounds pretty realistic. It doesn't sound like that classic machine gun effect you normally get if you play notes in rapid succession like that. Also things like a roll. And that will react to how hard I hit it. And I can of course change the speed. Uh, buzz. Flam. Drag. So on and so forth, and I can apply those to any of the sounds uh, inside battery. Uh, I've also got some way out there stuff, uh, like Geiger counter. Kind of cool little feature there. That's kind of the new features uh, inside battery in a nutshell. Lots of cool stuff going on.